Today, let's explore Japan's unique city, Hakodate. This city in the southern tip of the island of Hokkaido has been the gateway for people who run this northern island. Hakodate was one of the first to open its port to overseas after Japan's isolation, which lasted more than 200 years. Various Western architecture and cultures landed that can still be seen today in the city. Today, it has become a city visited by tourists from Japan and all over the world. For its delicious foods and Japan's top three night views. Let's explore this unique nostalgic northern city of Japan. So it's time for my train from Sapporo arrives at Hakodate Station. I arrived at Hakodate Station. There are three ways to enter Hakodate trains, ferry, and airplanes. I took the train from Sapporo and arrived at Hakodate Station. In case you take Shinkansen from Tokyo, you can get off at current last stop of Hokkaido Shinkansen, Shin Hakodate Hokuto Station, and take Hakodate Liner that is connecting to Shinkansen from Tokyo. It takes about 4 hours and 40 minutes from Tokyo and almost 4 hours from Sapporo. This Hakodate station used to connect directly to the port, and the cargo train could fit into the ferry connecting to the Honshu Island, Aomori. The ferry was called Seikan Renakusen, and regular ferry is still operating between two cities. Ferry is probably not a common way to come to Hakodate. Hakodate also has an airport that has direct flights from Tokyo. It's only about 20 minutes from the airport to Hakodate station. Let's drop the bag at the hotel and head to the sightseeing. Of Hakodate. So I booked this Comfort Inn as it was under 5,000 yen, which was like 30 US dollars, including breakfast. It's right in front of the city tram station. It was really convenient to get to the other parts of Hakodate, as you can jump on the city tram in 30 seconds after leaving the lobby of the hotel. But it's a basic hotel. I'm okay with it, but probably not for someone coming here for the lifetime travel. Because there are too many good hotels in Hakodate that you cannot miss. And you can stay for a little more price with great breakfasts and even hot springs. The five major hotels on Hakodate stations are JR Inn, Tokyo Stay, Century Marina, Hakodate Kokusai Hotel, and La Vista. All of these five hotels are known for great breakfasts and hot springs or public baths for guests. They are all on the same street containing from Hakodate Station by the port. Another area you can see hotels are Yunokawa Onsen Hot Springs, that you can see more traditional style Japanese ryokans. Most of the attractions are gathering in the south side of Hakodate Station, those are actually within walking distance. Hakodate area also has Trappist Inn Abbey and Trappist Monastery, and they are considered as a place for sightseeing. But as it's a little bit far away, I skip it this time. Another major spot, Goryokaku, is in the north of the city. So let's go to the Goryokaku first and get around other parts later in the evening and next day. There are city tram and bus routes from Hakurate Station to Goryokaku. For both trams and the bus, you get on from behind and get off from the front. You can use Japanese transportation IC cars such as Suika and Kitaka and Cash. In case you use cash, make sure you take the little white slip from the door behind. Goryokaku is a fort known for the interesting shape of the five pointed star that was built in mid 19th century. It's about 10 minutes walk from Goryokaku Go and my stop of the city tram. Goryokaku is like a park that you can enter across the moat without any admission. But you really don't see what kind of shape it is like. So a must visit place is Goryokaku Tower that you can observe the five pointed star shape from above and the view across Hakodate. Standing here at the observatory looking around the 360 degree of views with oceans and mountains of Hokkaido, you can really feel how far you came from your home. If you look closer down, you see the fort of Goryokaku. Goryokaku played an important role of Japanese history. Imagine Japan closed from the outside world for more than two centuries. But change was inevitable in mid-19th century. Some believed 
it's time to intake Western technology and lifestyle, while others fiercely defended the old ways. Both believed for the better future of Japan and fought. Some of the last samurais fought for their belief until the last minutes of them, and Koryokaku marked the end of the old era. Something you cannot miss in Hakodate is a view from Mount Hakodate. I got off at Jujigai stop of the city tram and went up the mountain. I walked up the hill with other people who just got off the tram. The streets were very empty and quiet, so if there was no other people, I wondered if it's really I'm on the right direction. But it seemed like most people came by tour bus. If you prefer not to walk up the hill, you can also take the bus from the Hakodate station and other hotel areas. So it was 1,800 yen round trip per person. Hakodate Yama Mountain, also known as Mount Hakodate, is more like a hill, which is 334 meters. But the view from the top of the mountain is one of the top three night views in Japan. Other trees are in Kobe and Nagasaki, all the port cities. Something I didn't expect was that the observation deck was quite small for the number of people visiting. This time of the day after sunset is the most popular time. <laughs> what I missed there is a park called Isaribi Park, right outside the Rope station, which seems much less people. Even everyone goes right after getting off the rope, but you have to go left to reach this park. Aside from the crowd, the view of Hakodate is amazing. Many Japanese kids are misunderstanding that we are seeing this part of the South Hokkaido's shape, but actually it's this one. The other side of the observatory, I could see the lights of the ships. Itharibi, which is a squid fishing light illuminating the bay, is a symbol of the region. In the building of the observatory, there is a restaurant and cafeteria, so I ate this squid rice called ikameshi, which is a special food from this region of South Hokkaido. Descending from the mountain was something I had uh, to face to the long line. It seems like uh, I had to wait hours, but 125 people can fit in one time of the rope. So actually the line moved much faster than I thought it would be. In summer season from mid-April to early November, there's a bus going to the top of the mountain directly from Hakodate station. If daytime, you can also walk down the hill on the foot to the Motomachi area. Hakodate Yama is a typical tourist spot, but still something must visit at least once if you come to Hakodate. After coming down from Mount Hakodate, I decided to walk back to the hotel. The area was nice to walk around. I think I can show you more in daylight, so let's come back here again. Now I'd like to walk back to the hotel. As I walked down the hill, I came across the port area. The port is a fun walkable area, and you see some warehouses that uh, change to the little shopping places. It was cold and almost nobody on the streets. So I dropped by Starbucks as I need a break from the cold wind. Nice Starbucks. I like Starbucks, but uh, if I go to Starbucks or uh, get McDonald's coffee, I get the friendly criticism. <laughs> so um, maybe I have to find local original one. They have a Hokkaido mark only in Hokkaido. Next day, I head back to the Motomachi area. Let's explore the Motomachi area.
not much in the area where East met West. There are many photogenic slopes such as Hachiman Zaka and Motoi Zaka. The view of the port from above the hill is something nostalgic and lovely. This area has similar churches and old western style building remaining. Among them, the building you can see inside is the, the former British consulate of Hakodate. You can walk around the garden without any admission. But let's go inside. The current building was built in 1913 and it was operated until 1934 as consulate. Inside the building remain the rooms of former consulate and it has exhibition about the port of Hakodate. And of course, you see the stamps in Japan, so let's do that. And of course, there's a little space on the brochure to put the stamp. And that's very interesting, lots of places to see. If you come from the Great Britain or Western country, it might look like you're at home, but well, it's interesting for Japanese, so let's see how you think. So it's 500 yen, uh, 300 yen, and 500 yen for two places, and there's another one place to see that you can see with the 500 yen ticket, so let me go there now. Let's see. And this one is Motomachi Park. So let me see if I can go through this. Oh, this is a gorgeous building. Another western style building is Old Public Hall of Hakodate. The current building was built in 1910. And from the second floor of the balcony, you can see the amazing view of Port of Hakodate. From the second floor of the balcony, you can see Port of Hakodate. It's a very nice view. This is dangerous. Let's walk on here. This is one of the old house that exists here for a long time. It says it's closed until March 1st. Be careful. Looks like the coffee shop I'm looking for is next location. This one from here, this one called Dai Sanzaka. In the Catholic Motomachi Church. And there is a Honganju Temple. When you need something to eat, a good place to drop by is a Raymond House. Here you can enjoy the sausage of the local Hakodate brand, Carl Raymond, which was established in 1925 by a meister from Czech, Carl Raymond. I chose the one called Churinga and the sausage was very light taste and really juicy and good. You know, you sometimes casually encounter some good foods that hit the spots that makes you smile. And this was that moment. Carl Raymond was born in Kain Czech Republic in 1894. After he studied making sausages in Europe and United States, he moved to Hakodate. He started to make sausage in traditional German way in 1925 in Hakodate, and for the rest of his life, for almost 70 years, he continued making sausage in Hakodate. For more details, you can check the museum on the second floor. Next, I went down the street and headed to the local convenience store called Hasegawa Store. It's like a regular convenience store that you see in Hakodate, but something characteristic is the big billboard of yakitori, a chicken stick. Here you can get yakitori bento that they cook right in front of you and put on the rice. You can use this paper and write what you like and bring to the cashier. They have English guide too. You order what you like and write on this paper and bring to the cashier over there. This is Hakodate's local hamburger chain. 
Lucky Piero. I didn't have time to go this one. I decided to leave it as something to look forward for the next trip to Hakodate. Near the Hakodate station, there's a morning market. This is the area that you can eat fresh seafood, like such as a squid and seafood bowl. First, let's look around here. I think many hotels have a seafood breakfast with lots of kind of good ikura and salmon, so not many tourists might come out to this place that early. But let's look around first. There are lots of, lots of stores. Actually, there are some people in the stores. So I purchased a little bit of the souvenir for myself and uh, the one lady talked to me after that uh, there are lots of foreign tourists but people don't buy anything. They eat kind of like a street food but they don't purchase souvenirs so like uh, we are not doing well and I think because many people just don't know what to purchase and what that is actually. Even for Japanese young people or even for me sometimes I have no, no idea what's on the shelf. So I was wondering, kind of walking and <laughs> kind of what I can do about this. It might be something good to explain one day about those things. So this is the Hakodate Morning Market Square. Looks like more kind of easy going place, but maybe similar to the other one. Something you have to eat in Hakodate is Hakodate ramen. When we hear Hakodate ramen, usually it's salt ramen. So I went to this store and I waited like one hour and I thought maybe I cannot wait anymore because my train time was coming close. It's a very good contrast from Sapporo ramen, which is more like a miso and bara and kind of very more thick for the cold area. Hakodate ramen is very light soup. Probably I finished eating in five minutes and it was very good. I wish I had more time. If I was one more later customer plus I couldn't eat. Let's learn that. So this is a Hakodate liner to Shin Hakodate Hokuto station. That is a donor in Salibi Tetsudo's local train. Hokkaido has lots of attractions, but not many places are easily accessible from train station. Sometimes it's impossible to get there unless you have a rent a car or take a bus tour. But Hakodate is a place you can get around by public transportation, so it's easy to travel around even for visitors from abroad. That was my trip to Hakodate. Thank you for watching. Have a great trip to Japan. Have a great weekend in the next video.